how to find all file by extension with Ansible, I'm going to show you a live demo with some simple Ansible code. I'm Luca Berton and welcome to today's episode of Ansible Pilot. Today we are talking about Ansible module find. The full name is ansible.builtin.find, which means that is part of a collection included in the ansible-core built-in collection. This module returns a list of files based on specific criteria using the find popular Unix command. The most important parameters of the find module for this use case. The mandatory parameter paths specify the list of paths of directory to search. You could include hidden files with a hidden parameter, as well as recurse in any directory under the main path with a recurse parameter. Another useful parameter is file underscore type, default to file, but you could filter by directory, link or any file system object type. You specify what to search under the pattern list. Ansible by default uses the file globes shell patterns, but you could specify also Python regexes enabling the use regex parameter. And now let's move on to a quick demo about how to find all files with extension using Ansible Playbook. I'm going to show you how to find a specific extension under the file system in my simple example. Welcome to my editor. I'm going to show you one simple Ansible playbook to find file by extension in a specified directory. First of all, let's begin our play with a name find demo that is going to be executed on host all of my inventory. Let me define a two variable that will become handy in our execution. So first is my path where to search for file under slash home slash devops slash example directory and my pattern this is uh, what to search so let me use uh, a shell extension star dot gnf so let me search for all c with dot cnf extension file okay now let's start with having fun on the task search on the task session let's uh, start searching for file using ansible.builtin.find module some parameters are needed first is paths so where to search for file under the value of my path let me specify also that i would like to include a hidden file so in linux all the file that start with the dots and recurse, uh, of course, because we would like to traverse all the possible directories. File type is any, so search for uh, file directory, what uh, links, uh, hard, uh, soft, whatever. Using the pattern specify under my pattern, so star.cnf. If we want more file extension, let's add a comma and add more. Let's save it the result under found files. This is an Ansible variable that we can use in our execution. Uh, what we can do with this variable? Well, the easiest way is to print it out on screen. So using ansible.builtin.debug module, let me specify the variable that we would like to print, in my case, found underscore files. And that's it. This is a very simple Ansible playbook to list all the .cnf file in one specified directory. So slash home slash devops slash example. You can customize with this example and add more patterns. For example, you can add more file extension. 
using a comma and specify the second extension and whatever. Now let's move on to the terminal to share the fan. Welcome to my terminal. First of all, let me connect to my demo machine via SSH DevOps as username at demoexample.com. This is a demo machine that I'm using for uh, demonstrate you everything. So let me enter in the example directory. As you can see, there are three files with different extensions. Only two of them have uh, .cnf extensions. So now we are ready to execute our Ansible playbook. So let me disconnect from this system and execute my code. Using ansible-playbook command, let me specify the inventory. This is only a list of hosts where to execute the uh, code and the name of the Ansible playbook. Once uh, we start the execution, it's going to be super fast. Wow, we just got uh, two matches, so which means that two files are uh, find in that matches the current pattern. As you can see, scrolling up, we see the first file that is file1.cnf and slash home slash devops slash example. We can see the owner, the group, the uh, access and modification time and permission and whatever. So everything is completely sorted out and scrolling down we can see file2.cnf. This is a great source to find file in your hard drive and perform some operation after it. Yay! Great success, Ansible! Wait a minute, what happens if we execute again the same code? Well, nothing is going to be changed on the target machine, so if we execute the same code, we got the same result. This property is called hidden potency and as you can see file 1 and file 2 are find out on the target machine. Yay! Now you know how to find all files by extension with Ansible. Thank you for watching, I hope this lesson was useful for you, so keep in touch and see us on the next adventure of Ansible Pilot and have a great day! Yay! This video is part of our Ansible automation program. Sign up today on www.ansiblepilot.com for uninterrupted exclusive video and so much fun!